And for, of course, aside from Dagatot Gacha, we will probably get to see something pretty cool. And you know what? They actually might show something oh. interesting today because Borno is coming in into the mid lane. He's going to be replacing Okir yeah. coming in this one. So this is something that we've been talking about off uh, off camera. A lot, of, a lot of us talents are like, all right, what's this going to be like, right? Because yeah. we're, we're in the same boat as you guys, man. We yeah. haven't actually seen Borno play. Yeah, I mean, this is the first time we're going to be see seeing the debut of the Mamba Academy. It's Jack New and his biological brother as the Roman as the mid. That's crazy. And Aqua, step forward. And making his MPL debut, Bornoff. Step forward. Step closer together. Aqua, paano mo babawian? Ang barangay Smart Omega, ano ang palag mo? Siguro doon nyo kami manalo. Borno! Paano mo masisiguro na hindi makakabawi ang Raiders? Ano ang palag mo? Wala eh, sumbo ko na lang siya sa kuya ko. <laughs> palag kong palag! Fist bump! And here we go, there you go. Uh, what, what? Two purifies. Two purifies, there you go. Thank you so much for that. And throw it over the casters, Leo and Ingan, to bring us a game. I'm liking so far how Bornok feels. Like, two minutes in, it's like, he's not a sub, you know, like, he belongs. Yeah, a little thing about, a little trivia about Bornok. Brigitte actually uh, mentioned this a while ago. She watched the stream of Chaknu. Bornok's versatility is amazing. On Mondays, he's a jungler. On Tuesdays, oh! wait a minute, they're trying to go for Kosei. Forced out the Purify and the Blazing Duet. Another good ejector there coming in from Chaknu. And as I was saying, when it comes to Burnock, every day is a different role for him. And it's for Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, he's a coach. And Sunday, he's even a caster. <laughs> so today, it's a Friday. He's a mid laner. He's a mid laner today. All right. Should be enough to make... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you think about it? Oh, but there's the unstoppable force now. Four members ganged up on Shaknu as he falls down. Nibbo really want to cast things. Oh, look at that. Ryota goes in first with the Earth Shatter Flicker combination as they bring down Shaknu. Here comes Nibbo with the final slash. Light with the AOG. Ryota as well. So again, the damage coming in from RSG. But here comes Kosei with a blazing duet on Ryota and to Jome. A double kill coming in from Aqua and a good start for the Raider. It's easier said than done. That's what RSG is working on right now. Here we go. Oh, look at the We Shadow Kill. And welcome to MPL Bornok. You just got the ear and treatment. See? That was a weak shadow kill on to four. And there was what? A shuriken, maybe a nuke from Aqua, and then the shadow kill. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa! Here comes the response from Omega. Not my brother, says Chaknu, as they also take down an XP laner. So Ryota, Chaknu has to set up when it comes to the crowd control because of this guy specifically. Iran once again goes in for the Uwiki shadow kill. And finishes the job, brings down Bornok out. Shaknu going to his brother next, forces out the flicker, but never catches him with a final slash. A killing spree from Aqua. That's it. Your, your only other way out is the primal. I'll oh, see what I tell oh, you. Oh, here comes the Nimbor final slash once again. Onto one of his favorite heroes as oh, Irad goes in with a weak shadow kill, bringing the third death of Bornok. And Doryu tries to survey the scene. They're chasing after Joe as he shuts down Irad. Here comes the brilliance. Of what? And Doryu templates on blades. And he's going to bring down Kosei as well. All of a sudden, Woo! things are turning around for Omega. But look at Nibor with a final slash catch once again to even out the score. Just look at Nibor being the front line of RSG. And when they see Nibor, everyone's just scattering out. They don't want to get caught by the final slash as Ryota pops his Primal Wrath to make sure to burst down the Lord. One inhibitor turret left and Irad is working on it. And now the base of Omega fully exposed as Nimbor manages to find Ryota on his Primal Wrath form. But here comes the counter attack coming in from Omega. Bornok with a good cast of that skill. Jome goes after Aqua, Aqua and shuts him down. That's three Raiders all of a sudden what? gone. And then Dory also brings down Irad. They're taking their... And that's their second turret all game. Their second turret all game. Omega timers is what you need to know. Just making sure Omega capitalizing on the potential mistakes that their opponents can do. They have minions here as Nimbor goes for the catch. Paired up with a uh, blazing duet coming Whoa! in from Kosei. Lito with the AOG. This must be the answer coming in from RSG. They're going to bring down Ryota. Chaklu is the next target. He has the immortality. Nimbor making sure to cut his... Uh, 
his exit route there as two members will fall down for Omega and Doryu has to walk away here. Oh. OMG, a little too bold, a little too, oh wait, 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 he's caught up, he's oh, caught up! Here comes the delay coming in from Mandoryu, might be able to take down Kosei, but Kosei with the winter card as Iran finishes him off! It's just Showman pouring up left! A defense of a lifetime is needed for the Barangay! The Nightmare suffers his own mistakes, oh, and now they're inside the base! Five seconds before Ryota comes alive, here comes the final defense, but Kosei says no, and RSG will take game one! Match point for RSG to continue moving forward with the dreams of the playoffs still alive!